Hello you guys, this is Bob. Welcome to my house. We're here in the backyard death loop. Um, welcome to issue number 53. And this issue we're gonna start out with five questions with Bob. Australia with the Billabong team. And we got a check up with Mike Vallely, the man rookie with Jake Nunn. And to end this issue, we'll be going to New Zealand with the circuit team.
What's up, this is Joe. And I'm Mike, and we're from Lincoln Park, and you're watching 411. Just walking around being in a daze, just so jet lagged. First demo on Jeremy, another man down. And of course, you have to do a demo straight off the plane. Boom, does it? Lands, tail snaps off. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, final demo, I'm just like, Dude, this is scary.
start this somewhere. Growing up here was quite a trip, and just coming up here gives me the full top view of living in Rio de Janeiro. So every time I come here now, it's just so many people, I have so much to do. Either it's just an event, go skate event, back hotel, skate event, back hotel, and I'm like, man, there's so much more in Rio. This is one of the spots, and I'm glad that we got a chance to come up. It's a different vibe here. People are more together, family-oriented. It's definitely a different lifestyle than in the U.S. now. vocês que apenas tentando dar uma comparada de como, o que é ser um profissional aqui no Brasil e o que é ser um profissional de skate nos Estados Unidos. Aqui no Brasil, na, na, época, onde, na época que a profissão na verdade não existia, esse negócio de, 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 de viver do skate no Brasil, que de repente agora tem certas pessoas que consigam viver do skate, como o Wagner é um que está aqui do meu lado. Wagner, que, que, como é que está sendo a sua experiência de, de profissão aqui no Brasil, é, antes de você fazer essa viagem para os Estados Unidos? Eu vou até voltar até antes do evento do Mundial no Brasil, de como era a sua vida, e como ela está sendo agora e como é que está sendo essa transição e agora que você está tá meio que com um pé lá nos Estados Unidos e outro pé aqui. Nesses últimos anos, de 95 até 2000, deu um, foi um pulo muito grande, sabe? A ajuda sua e de todos, todas as pessoas que estavam mais top no skate. Uhum. Em 95, quando eu estava no meu, no meu no auge até, que o meu skate estava bom e eu sabia disso, uhum. eu tive que parar de andar de skate para poder trabalhar, estudar e poder sobreviver. Aí depois de três, de três anos, dois anos e meio, que eu fui poder abandonar o segundo meu emprego para poder andar, poder viver do skate, mas na, naquelas, aluguel, sabe? We just got to the Arpoador Bowls. Definitely a beautiful spot for a, a skate park. And this is pretty much what made me want bowls and carving. I mean, I grew up skating cement, bowls. I mean, this one is gnarly. Taught me a lot and got me really into carving. But this is it. I mean, this is this stuff that I've been skating here in Brazil is pretty much what shaped me and what made me want to build a bowl at my house. What's up? We're here at Leo's house. Leo was like my idol when I was growing up. I get to come out here and have a great time with like everyone. It's just the best, you know. Like that's what we live for. É aproveitar, ser profissional do serviço para ela recomendar Pra que anunciar quando ela lembrar O seu lindo sorriso vai me divulgar É só estar sempre preparado Se rolar de dar uma ideia já fico despreocupado We're in downtown São Paulo This has been eventful A lot of things happening, a lot of skateboarding A lot of people that I hadn't seen in a long time And I come in for like a global interview Like major TV show while they're interviewing me, they tell me that, you know, I have a brother and that he's there and he wanted to meet me. It was a very special moment for me, I'm very psyched. It's like one of the best moments actually. Então gente, é, isso aqui é a experiência do Brasil, é como eu cresci e as pessoas em, com, com que convivi, os meus amigos, as pistas que eu andei e agora uma vida completamente diferente, mas que espero que vocês tenham gostado e agora a gente vai pra casa.
Okay, well we've been through Brazil and you got a little taste of how my life has completely changed and I ended up here. But I, I did have the blessing to find a place where the rural kind of feel and where there's chickens around and plant organic foods and so I'm glad to live where I am right now. The reason I'm there is because of that feeling. I kind of wanted to be somewhat around the green, the nature, and, and now get to skate a ramp that I built. November of last year, Billabong flew the team down Australia for a 12-day road trip up the East Coast. Being opposite seasons to the US, it was extremely hot most of the way up. The demos in this road trip were the usual demos with kids asking all kinds of questions and wanting everything we had. The one good thing was we had the bus where we could go and relax pretty much straight after each demo, so that, was, that made it fun. The Billabong bus is a, a gigantic bus that's made strictly for touring for surfers, snowboarders and skateboarders. Um, Got a huge photo of me on there because I'm beauty. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, when um, I heard Daniel Haney was coming out to Australia to get some skating done, I wasn't expecting half of what I saw. The guy is insane. For example, today I watched a guy jump off like 16 stairs over a rail and absolutely Kill himself about four times. The guy just keeps throwing himself down, down, down. It just never ends. Twenty minutes later, we're at a big handrail, and the guy is just going for it again. It took like a, a bad rolled ankle or a fractured ankle to stop the guy. The guy is just insane. Daniel, mate, you're a champion. Look after your body. I've never seen anyone else in this world do what you do to your body, mate. It's just exact. It's just crazy. I just wish you all the best. One day in Sydney we were eating before we were going to go for a skate and all of a sudden this lightning storm came over and kind of put a block on the whole skating for the day so we ended up going to the aquarium in the Sydney Harbour. In the aquarium there's a tunnel that you can walk through 
and watch the divers up close feed the sharks. But uh, for some reason, the sharks were not eating at all. I guess they were pretty much fat already, so <laughs> yeah. Worldwide for the people who cry to hear something new. Leave Cherry Park for once, bro. <laughs> Go somewhere else. We went to FDR and I think we got a good portion of his part done in one night. He started like now we can do it. I was like, alright. He said he was gonna grab my skateboard out of my hands and break it over my skull. A little more denim going, a lot more Axel. He turned into Axel Rose. I was on the plane and I looked down and I actually saw that happening. What the hell, dude? Who's nose manual? And this is insane. Games presents Max Payne, the intense story of a fugitive undercover cop who is framed for murder. A man with nothing to lose. Revolutionary bullet time gameplay slows down the action, showing bullets in flight, giving Max the edge against impossible odds. Prepare for pain. Max Payne. Get it now on PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PC. Rated M for Mature. because, uh, I don't know, after so long of seeing just every month somebody else getting a new shoe and just like, why is that guy getting a shoe? Well, now finally somebody can say that about me. Speed up, baby! Check out the 
Stop the lifestyles of the young and dangerous. Call now and subscribe to the only magazine bringing you the hottest girls, skateboarding, celebrities, music reviews, surfing, cars, shoes, and the freshest gear. Everything you need to be the coolest kid on the block. Call now and see with your paid subscription a free special edition of the new Transworld skateboarding video featuring today's top pros throwing down some serious hammers. Check out Jamie Thomas, Chad Muska, Mark Appleyard, and Tom Penny in action. Plus, a sneak preview of the new how-to video, Starting Point 3, featuring Steve Barra. Learn how to do perfect kickflips and stable grinds. Stan's Magazine covers it all, and your paid subscription of $19.98 gives you 12 issues packed with interviews and articles that all your friends will rap about. Stan's Magazine. Call now for this one-time exclusive offer and get 12 issues of Stan's Magazine for only $19.98 in your free Trans World Skateboarding video. Call now. Skateboarding is what I do. Even when I'm not skating, I'm a skateboarder, you know what I mean? It shows me that I can do something with my life. You have to think about what you're doing, not what's going to happen. The more anguish I have in my life, the more despair, the more I like to skate. I just rather skate bands. Just after Christmas, I started a band, Mike V and the Rats. Music has been the most important and relevant influence in my life ever since I was a kid. I've always wanted to make music and be in a band, but nothing's ever really worked out until now. The music we play is a throwback to the early 80s hardcore punk, the kind of music we grew up listening to. It's loud and aggressive, but there's a real positive message in what we're doing. The band consists of Jason Hampton on guitar, PT on drums, and Gish on bass. We've played a few shows thus far and recorded three songs which are available packaged with my new video drive. Later this year we will start playing more shows and touring as well as begin work on a full length recording. On January 30th of this year I participated and played in the NHL All-Star Celebrity Challenge at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. It was a charity hockey game to raise money for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Being a fan of hockey and a player my whole life it was an honor to work with the NHL and to be on the same sheet of ice with legends such as Phil Esposito, Rod Gilbert, Yari Curry, and Dave Taylor. Beyond that, there were all kinds of television and movie celebrities playing as well, such as Cuba Gunning Jr., Tim Robbins, and Chris Jericho. In the third period, I scored a goal past NHL legend Pete Peters, and I was set up by Los Angeles Kings general manager and former player Dave Taylor. The team I was on won the game, but more so it was a fun night, and we raised money for a good cause. In April, my new film Drive was released. Drive was filmed during the summer of 2001 and tells the story of my life in skateboarding and on the road. It documents my travels over the summer and my history in the sport. And although the film focuses on my career and the places I've been, I believe it tells a broader story about skateboarding in general. There's a lot of hope in the message of this film. If the Dogtown film tells us where we've come from, I believe Drive tells us what we could be. This film raises the bar for this industry and its professionals. Maybe no one wants to meet it, but it had to be made nonetheless. Mark Jeremiah has produced and directed the film, and the majority of it was shot in 16mm. It is one of the best looking and focused skateboard movies ever made, but its message goes beyond skateboarding. This movie is about the importance of individuality and the power of dreams. Earlier this year, after 18 years in skateboarding, I started my own brand, Valley Skateboards. Doing my own company has been a goal of mine for a long time. Starting it now made the most sense, and really it was a natural progression for me with all I've been doing over the past several years. 
As an individual, I've always strived to make a difference in the sport, but through my own company, I feel I can do so much more. This brand is simply just about supplying skaters with good products. I hope to equip everyone from the youngest skaters starting out to the older guys who prefer old school shapes and long boards. I want this brand to be diverse, but always parent and kid friendly. I want to keep it simple. Skateboarding is fun, and that's all I want this company to be about, fun. None, man. You're all jacked up. <laughs> he doesn't get a lot of media attention. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's a quiet guy and doesn't talk about himself and hardly talks at all, actually. To get noticed, he has to let his skating speak for himself. He comes from a scene where skating is the most important thing. Even that said, I don't think he's really that concerned with his skating. He's just doing it because it comes naturally to him.
hearties, yo ho! Marauders and guzzle and even hijack, drink up me hearties, yo ho! Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me! Question 15, what was the trampoline thing like? The thing with the harness that you were doing flips on? What was it like? Can you just watch the video? <laughs> you can watch the video, then you'll see what it's like. That boy needs therapy. Purely psychosomatic. That boy needs therapy. Lie down on the couch. <coughs> what does that mean? You're a nut. You're crazy in the coconut. What does that mean? That boy needs therapy. I'm gonna kill you. That boy needs therapy. Granny Kazoo, let's have a cheer. How about I count three? That 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 that, that boy, boy needs therapy. <laughs> he was white as a sheep. And he also made false teeth. <laughs> Business continues below. Did I ever tell you the 
story about it. Cowboys. Midgets. The Indians. And what frontier of psychiatry? I felt strangely hypnotized. I was in another world. The world of 20,000 20, girls. And Bill. And rectangles. Doing optometrists. A man with a golden eyeball. And tight your buttocks. Or juice on your chin. And I promised my girlfriend I could the violin, violin, violin. Right, you guys that was it for issue 53 hope you enjoyed it um, next issue 54 we have checkup with Terry Getz we also have controlled chaos with the foundation team and much more so Uh, I don't know exactly. 
piece of shit. Welcome to Bob's house, backyard craziness. Can't believe I even built this. I got to tear it down. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so was it fair of you to get me in charge? Try to capture my free mind, but it won't I play a minor role, your system's not for me. I want no part of your pseudo-society. So I'll keep skating down the street.